In the 4th century AD, a young king took power in the ancient kingdom of Aksum, located in what is now Eritrea and Ethiopia. His name was Azana, and he would unleash a series of conquests and religious conversions that transformed Aksum into one of the greatest empires of its era. Azana was born around 320 AD into the ruling Aksumite dynasty that had controlled the regional trade, routes and Red Sea ports for centuries. But it was his embrace of Christianity that ultimately elevated both Azana and Aksum to new heights of power and influence. In the early years of his reign, Azana consolidated his rule through military campaigns that brought vast territories under Aksumite control from the highlands of modern-day Eritrea all the way across the Red Sea to Yemen. His most legendary military achievements came in 325 AD, when Azana's forces crossed the Red Sea and defeated the Kingdom of Himyarites, securing Aksum's control over the lucrative spice trade routes from Arabia. This decisive victory positioned Aksum as the greatest economic and naval power in the region, but it was Azana's conversion to Christianity around 330 AD that truly appended the ancient world and cemented his legacy as a pivotal ruler. Rejecting the long-held polytheistic religions, he announced an inscription on the famed Azana stone that the Christian God was to be accepted as the sole deity of the Aksumite kingdom. With Azana's embrace of this new monotheistic faith from the Holy Lands, a wave of church building took place across his realms, as Aksum became one of the first empires to officially adopt Christianity as the state religion. As part of his evangelical zeal, Azana dispatched missionaries and merchants far across the Red Sea and Indian Ocean to proselytize among the Himyarites and as far afield as Sri Lanka and India's Malabar coast. The king even formed an alliance with the Christian Byzantine Roman Emperor to safeguard the religion spread. Back in his capital city at Aksum, Azana ordered the construction of magnificent royal palaces, churches, obelisks and public buildings adorned with Greek architectural influences, and established Aksumite stone carving as one of the era's crowning artistic traditions. When he died around 360 AD, Azana the Christian warrior king had built an empire and legacy to stand alongside the Byzantine and Persian powers as a center of wealth, art, and a new world religion. The dawn of Christianity's spread throughout Africa had begun in earnest, but the true impact of Azana's religious fervor was not fully realized until two centuries after his death. It was then that Christianity's profound imprint on regions like modern-day Sudan and Ethiopia crystallized giving rise to new cultures that reshaped a continent.